Viewer discretion is advised. It all started when a man suddenly coughed up blood on a busy street. Passersby rushed over to help, while others took out their phones and started recording. Are you okay? I, I don't feel so good. M my body, it hurts so much. Suddenly, human limbs and heads burst through the man's torso as he screamed. People started fleeing in panic, yet it didn't deter those who remained and continued filming. The recordings went viral across the globe. A beginning to the end of the world. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Apollyon Class Object SCP-7004. SCP-7004, also known as Insane Wailing Feral, is a Class 10 realization type mimetic infohazard currently infecting over 75% of the human population. When a normal person perceives 7004, they are immediately subjected to a blossom event. The effects of a blossom event is as follows. An immediate tearing pain in the subject's abdomen, followed by the torso violently rupturing due to multiple hands and fingers bursting from within. Having two to 27 separate individuals burst out of the rupture, from three-month-old toddlers to 100-year-old adults. The rupture causes the immediate death of the subject and creates an instance of SCP-7004-1. Loud screaming from each of the emerged individuals, henceforth designated as SCP-7004-1 pedal instances, who are themselves carriers of 7004. SCP-7004 was first discovered on July 15, 2021, following several reports of people with multiple bodies emerging at different locations across the globe, including the US, China, and India. On July 16, videos of people bursting apart went viral on various popular online video sharing platforms. These videos showed the 7004-1 pedal instances screaming which transmitted 7004 even further, causing more blossom events to occur worldwide. A link was then drawn between the act of watching these videos and the occurrence of blossom events. Thus, the Global Occult Coalition started taking down videos related to 7004. However, this only fueled speculations and discussions in online conspiracy theorist forums, which inadvertently exposed the users to 7004. By July 17, approximately 156 million individuals had undergone blossom events and turned into 7004-1 instances. The Foundation officially joined hands with the GOC in an effort to suppress and contain SCP-7004. Shortly after, a media blackout of official news outlets was implemented. Unfortunately, 7004 continued spreading via the internet exposing roughly 600 million more individuals to blossom events. The containment of 7004 was thereafter elevated to priority alpha. Information blackouts became the primary containment method, leading to restrictions of online activities in several countries. But once again, it only promoted discussions of 7004, causing an outbreak of millions more blossom events in countries unaffected by the bans. July 20th, the number of individuals infected reached 1 billion, escalating the anomaly's disruption class to Amida. Operations to halt the spread of SCP-7004 remain ongoing till this day. On July 22nd, it was reported that a whopping 6 billion people were infected. Blossom events took place even among Foundation staff members, disrupting suppression efforts tremendously. The next day, Site-82 sent a distress signal. Soon after, it was declared inoperative. One by one, Foundation facilities fell. Following these backbreaking events, the Aetna Protocol was activated on the orders of 05-4. As such, the 05 Council suspended operations with executive authority given to regional directors and site directors until central leadership can be re-established. Site-01 was a ghost town, as most of the Foundation personnel were infected and died from the Blossom events. Five members of the O5 Council gathered at the round table in the conference room. So here we are, the remaining members of the Council, the last bastion of humanity. When you put it that way, 
Surely there's a solution to all this madness. Unfortunately, there are no solutions, except for what I'm about to propose. 05-4 slid an envelope towards 05-1, who was seated in front of him. One undid the envelope string and retrieved a series of documents. This is... God. SCP-2000? Ganymede? Upon hearing those words, 05-9 stood up and banged her fist on the table. That's just as good as giving up. We can't just retreat to SCP-2000 without giving this another shot. What are you suggesting that we do then, hmm? Look around you. Everything's gone to hell. There's nothing we can do against this. Nine turned towards the rest of the members for support, but was only greeted with solemn expressions in agreement with Four's proposal. Damn it. I don't like this. So it's agreed then. One began standing up to speak, but was interrupted by the door behind him opening. All O5 council members turned to look at the door as O5-2 shambled into the room. Blood was dripping from his mouth onto his suit. As he staggered to the round table, he leaned into the nearest person, one who stood up to help two stay on his feet. Christ, are you okay? Oh God. Two coughed up more blood, staining the conference table and one's shirt. One promptly let go of two and stumbled backwards. Nine tried to hurry towards him, but was stopped by four. No, don't. Something's not right with him. As Four continued observing Two, he noticed the latter was trying to open his mouth. Cover your ears! The rest immediately did as Four commanded, but they couldn't mask Two's deafening screams. Suddenly, his abdomen tore open from within, several fingers emerging and pulling at the widening wound. A bloody and panting human head popped out of O5-2's abdomen, followed by an arm as it tried to push itself out. All the council members moved back in shock as two continued to scream in agony. Still covering his ears, four could only look on helplessly. As the 7004-1 pedal instance carried on its endeavor, 05-5 suddenly began coughing up blood, followed by 9. 05-6 moved back in shock before doubling over as she too began vomiting blood on the floor. Panicking, 05-1 drew a pistol from the garter of his pants. He fired several shots at six until she lay dead. 05-1 and 05-4 looked at each other despairingly. The madness didn't stop. A thin trail of blood began dripping from one's lips, directly followed by him vomiting more blood on the table. No, stop, don't come any closer. One slid his pistol across the table to four. You know what to do, don't let us suffer the same way two did. Do it! Four grabbed firmly onto the pistol. In one swift motion, he fired a shot directly at one's head, killing him instantly as he dropped to the floor with a thud. For a moment, Four froze as he looked around and stared blankly at the chaos unfolding in front of him. The other overseers were convulsing and screaming in pain. He begrudgingly pointed the gun at one of them, then pulled the trigger. But the gun jammed. Great! He turned and saw arms bursting out of one's corpse. Next to it, Six's corpse, already a 7004-1 pedal instance, was twitching violently. Realizing what was happening, Four immediately dropped his gun and clamped his hands tightly onto his ears. He ran past his dying comrades, deftly dodging the reaching hands of pedal instances that had emerged from two. He ran out of the conference room, disappearing from sight as the door closed behind him. Along the hallway, Four ran past more instances of 7004-1, all of whom were once Foundation personnel. Agents, researchers, pencil pushers, every single one of them had lost their humanity. Now reduced to nothing more than stumbling masses of flesh with outgrowths of arms and fingers, these instances wailed and cried. Four eventually found his way into the inner chamber. He turned on a terminal and started recording. All right. This should be ringing your bells. Hello, I am 05-4, and to my knowledge, I am the last 05 still left alive. You don't know Jack about anything right now, and if you do, then there goes our last hope to stop this thing. But if you don't, and I'm counting on that, then you deserve an explanation. The world has ended. A memetic info hazard, SCP-7004, has ended it. And right now, Navara, Mullins, you're the only two people left on Earth that can make sure that we can come back from this. 
So my last express request is this. Go to Yellowstone, find SCP-2000, input the numbers 12252000 into it. Reset the world, save it, or, well, what's left of it. This document will tell you everything you need to know about it. Everything to get you up to speed. Everything to prepare for all that it's worth. Before the rest of the council went dark, we did everything we'd need to make sure 2000 comes online once you get there. You've gotten a promotion to level 5, effective immediately. That should give you the credentials you need to start Procedure Lazarus. Congratulations for what it's worth. As he spoke, Four could taste iron in his mouth. <coughs> then came the coughing of blood. Damn it. I need to go. I don't have much time left. I wish I could say more, but I'll end the recording here. If I let it go on any further, what you'd hear next would drive you insane. Godspeed. 05-4 ended the recording. His coughs were getting more and more painful by the second. He could feel something in his chest about to burst through. Who knew this is how each one of us would end up? 05 or not, we're still humans after all. All life signs were extinguished from Site 01.